Hi, welcome to my 12-week body transformation mindset lesson. And this lesson's on jealousy. Well, at first you may wonder, what's jealousy got to do with the 12-week body transformation program? I mean, really, how can it relate to fitness, exercise, nutrition? How does it relate to me? Well, I think most of us are struck by the green-eyed monster a little bit more than we actually think we are. Does this sound familiar? Wow, she looks great. Or, I wish I'd lost that much weight this week. Even, oh, I wish I could run that far. Or even, look at those yummy mummies at the school pickup. Wish I didn't have to work today and could just go to the gym and catch up with friends. Or even, perhaps the most damaging of all, for some of us, I wish I looked like I did. And then you can fill in the gaps with whatever you want. Back before I had kids. When I was an athlete. When I was a teenager. Some other previous version of ourselves that we're jealous of. Can you believe it? We're jealous of ourselves. Well, you may even be looking at an old picture of yourself or even have an image in your mind that you've photo touched up yourself. To picture this perfect or, or previous version of yourself that you just wish you could look like again. For some of us even, we've never been that happy with how fit we've been or, or our body shape. For some of us, we've always wanted to be better, either in a big way or, or in a little way. Okay? For some of us, we project that onto other people. I wish I could eat all that and, and be that thin or how lucky are they? Or it could just be as simple as I wish I had legs like that. Now, there's a huge difference between aspirations and, and, and admiring someone and jealousy. Now, it's one thing to admire someone and, and use that as inspiration for motivation and to use that to be the best version of yourself. That's great. Okay? But it's another thing entirely to want to be that person or, or to have those legs, even if that version is a previous version of yourself. You're not that person and that's a good thing. And you will never look exactly like they do. It's dangerous if these kinds of thoughts spend a lot of time in your head because you may even get quite close to how they look or quite close to how you want to be, but you'll always be finding little faults and little flaws that you wish you could change and always comparing yourself to other people. Okay? Even if some of you may be saying right now, but that, that was me. You know, I did used to look like that. Why can't I be like that again? Okay, or, or I used to be that fit. Why can't I be like that again? Well, the thing is um, that life changes. Okay, Our bodies change internally, externally. We are physically not the same people. And our journeys have taken us in different places to where we were back then. Okay? I know I'm never going to get my tummy back the way it was before I had kids. I mean, I've got stretch marks and all sorts of funky stuff happening there. But hey, you know what? My shoulders might look better. And I know for sure that I can kayak now a lot better than I could back then. Okay? The other thing is, you know what? I would love to look like Michelle Bridges. I mean, wow. Okay? But... My genetics aren't the same. Parts of me eventually may get that good. Um, some bits may even get better. And bits may be nowhere near that good. But you know what? That's not my aim. My aim is to be the best version of myself right now. And that's all you can ask of yourself too. Okay? That's, that's all you can expect from yourself is to be the best version of you right now, with your life right now, with your circumstances right now, and with the journey that's led you to this place. So why not change your motivation and your aspirations to being about you? Why not aspire to be the best person you can be right now, with your life right now, where you are in your journey right now? So admire yourself, what you've achieved, and where you're going into it.